drunken bear. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the drunken bear. bear. Hi everyone, today we're going to talk all about how to find a house in Melbourne. So there's two different ways that we're going to talk about in this video, which is one, share housing, and the other one, which is finding your own place. So let's um, talk about share housing first. So there are several websites that you can um, look at. First, I'll talk about Flatmate Finders, and this is Nick's favorite. And mm. yeah, I really like this one. Um, this one has really served me really well, and I found some really good places and good people who I even remain friends with. So this one, for all these kind of links and websites we're talking about, we're gonna have it down in the description below, so that way you can just click on it and find it very easily. So this one's really uh, easy to use. It's, uh, I think it's a very cheap kind of payment, uh, but because it is like a paid service, it's just a lot more trustworthy. It's really good. It's well laid out. It's, it's almost like laid out like a dating kind of site, like dating profile. So you can kind of see the, the person's face, you know, their likes, their dislikes, what they like, even their references. So it's really, really good for finding trustworthy, fun, safe housing. Also another way is Gumtree. I mean if you ever um, want to live in Melbourne or Australia, you might have heard of this website which is called Gumtree. It's like the most popular website if you live in um, Australia. It's like Craigslist. Craigslist. Yeah, it's Craigslist. Hmm. It's like Craigslist in America. So you go to the Gumtree website and you see a lot of um, share housings and you know they are relatively way cheaper than uh, flatmate finders but the one big disadvantage is that it's got flaws. It's a bit it's a bit sketchy. Yeah, so, it's a bit less trustworthy than Flatmate Finders. Yeah, but if you are conscious about your budget, I don't think you should avoid this option. Because from my experience, I've used Gumtree a lot. Of course, I've found quite weird houses too, but also I've found good houses. I think this is a good website still um, and a lot of people use it. Another website that we're going to talk about is that Facebook pages or groups. It's not a website but these days so many people use Facebook and of course there are a lot of um, Facebook pages or groups related to Australia. So you'd um, find all these pages or groups and then um, maybe you can post saying you're looking for a house yeah. or you might see someone is looking for a share share mate so you know here we go you can find a share house mate or yeah you can use that way mm. so how do you actually get a house you go to their website first you should know the areas where you want to live and if you just arrived in um, Melbourne then you probably have no idea mm. so what to yeah. expect and where to go and this video so right here in this card so just click up here and this is uh, the all those suburbs that we think are really good places to live uh, you know in terms of price point safety all those kind of things you know things to do in those suburbs just click here and that will kind of show you what area is what and then once you have that information and you know what kind of area you want to live you can start looking in these groups and all these sites and you can kind of find in that area the place that you want to live yeah so okay now you know where you want to stay then you will see a lot of houses that are in that suburb and what to do is you give it a call or you leave a message or you know you email the person anyway you try to contact with the person who posted so you go to their house to see the house and then it's the funny part here you gotta kind of be sociable yeah I, I think a really good way to look at it is think of it like a job interview but a very casual job interview so uh, be neat be tidy but don't be like crazy like serious or anything have a list 
uh, that you want to ask because of course there's a lot of things that you want to know about this house as well as they will have their list of things that they want to know about you mm -hmm. so yeah I, I really think it's important to be friendly and bubbly it's it, you know a lot of especially for like Aussie kind of houses they're really uh, not into people who are just gonna lock themselves away in the room because it just makes them feel a little bit uneasy so so try to be a little bit friendly but not of course too outgoing too intense because otherwise they'll probably think you're a party animal or something so um, yeah it, it's finding a healthy medium and also just make sure to ask a lot of questions yourself because it shows that you're interested it also shows that you're very disciplined and you know um, they're gonna want you to pay your bills on time your rent everything like this so just be prepared for all those kind of questions just the way you'd be prepared for a job interview and this is even more important because this is like where you're living also don't be too robotic oh when is it available uh, how should I pay rent like if you are too impersonal then you know they don't like you <laughs> but also but ironically I'll say a good tip here is you gotta make a list because the thing is here of course you do kind of interview so the person should like you but important thing is you should like the house too mm, yeah so absolutely. what I can tell you is that you make a, a list um, if the house is nearby the supermarket or how do they pay bills or I don't know sort of things that you think that is important mm. and then um, you make note everything mm. but yeah don't be too invasive by asking too many questions yeah. or too much in robotic tries to be sociable or be relaxed and casual but also you kind of tick off what you have in the list mm -hmm. And then, yeah, next to house, you can kind of compare with the previous house. The next topic is really for people who want to find a house on their own, so completely not share housing at all. The best way to do this, I personally believe, is realestate.com.au and also Domain as well. So we'll put the links down in the description for those two websites. They're really good. Domain is really good with maps things like that so um, you can kind of see the the prices on the map so you know if you want to live in Fitzroy you can just go to that area and then you can see what houses are, are available so that's really really handy so what do you need to do first is that you find this website and then um, search for the area that you want to live in and then you would find heaps of houses and then you find the inspection date usually they have uh, one specific date or two anyway um, specific date and then you go there and a lot of people including you um, would have a house inspection but also you can kind of contact them too because sometimes they don't have any dates so you can kind of directly call them or you know leave a message or something like yeah. that yeah, I think that's a, actually a little bit of a good hack. Don't be afraid to, if for instance the inspection's at Saturday at 10 a.m., you can't make it, you're working that day, call them up and try to make, make an inspection for Friday because, you know, you'll be the first one to see the house and your chances go up. And for this kind of thing, you really have to have paperwork. It's all about paperwork. It's all about having good references with your job, good character references as well, and just having all your paperwork in order, your ID, uh, all of this have copies ready because you'll be filling out the form. Our tip here is try to be organized. I mean, finding a, your own place doesn't necessarily require to be bubbly or sociable, but I think it's good to be polite and well presentable. Um, and next thing is how to get a house as a bear. I mean, these guys, they found our house very easily because we adopt them. We do, we adopt if you them. are as cute as the bears, then no you might be able to find the house very quick. That's true. Thanks heaps for watching. We really hope this video is very informative for people who are trying to find a place, which it can be very hard. And so if you have any other questions, if there's something you think we haven't covered in here, leave it down in the comments below and we'll try to answer as best as we can because we really want to help you guys find a house. So. Uh, hopefully this video really helped you uh, understand the culture for finding 
a house here. Um, also, we have a plan to make a video um, like how to find a best accommodation kind of thing. So, so for people who stay um, shorter than a month. So yeah, just to, just to click the subscribe button to see the um, future video or just to, to see our old videos to help you understand Australia and uh, give it a like um, for this video if you enjoyed it and we will see you very soon we will, we'll see you in the next video where we keep trying to help you guys have fun in Melbourne okay, see you guys, bye, bye.